Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth, and I'm back again doing the uh, sex and relationships uh, tarot horoscopes for everyone with our ascendance on our moon in the lovely Cancer. Um, I appreciate you guys being patient for these videos. I know it's a long time coming, um, but um, because I I am doing different using different decks, I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to do this one again for a while. Probably not for a while. Um, but I appreciate you being patient nonetheless, because I did promise that I was going to have it in April and it didn't happen. So, um, I apologize there. So anyways, I am back again using the Decameron Tarot deck, um, that I bought a while back and then turned it into my own special creative, uh, deck. And I will say that, um, this is an erotic deck and this is, has a lot of strong sex content. This is for everyone who is 18 and over. Um, uh, so be forewarned there. Um, and I actually did roll out a spread, um, uh, for you guys and I had to pause my computer. So I'm just going to kind of start where I was, um, start again for you guys. And, um, so the first card, and you guys have a lot of fun cards in this spread. So this is for the month of May, Ascendance on our Moon for you and Cancer. Um, and or for anybody who know that's Cancer, because I know a lot of people watch videos for other people. And um, and so, yeah, so the first card you guys get, and this is, this is what the energy is, what's coming in from the outside, okay? And <laughs> this is a card that I made. Okay, as you can tell, it's my I took originally. If you, I'm not sure if you remember, but back in the day when I first got this deck and I started making it my own, there was a couple of cards that I didn't like at all. They were really kind of gross, and so I took them out and I was like, okay, I'm gonna make some new ones. And this was kind of an inside joke. Zebra sixty nine was I was supposed to be some kind of Wi Fi. Uh, username or something and um, you know a friend of mine were <laughs> we were joking about it okay and so I don't know why you know it came up for this deck but I just added it in um, and this is a special shout out to you my friend um, and um, if you're watching this video I don't know if you are but anyways this when this card comes up I think of it fondly because um, because of you so anyways this is this card is it, it, it means hot, passionate sex with much foreplay, which may or may not include the 69 position. Okay, this is ooh la la. Okay, now there's I think another card that has a 69 position as well. But this is probably the best card in the deck because it's not just the 69 position. It's kind of the whole thing. I mean, it's real hot, passionate sex. Can't really get any better than that. Okay. Uh, to me, it's a little bit exotic, too, because you got the zebras. It's a little bit wild, okay? Um, this is a wild time. This is a wild night. This is fun, okay? And I'm happy for you, Cancers, because you really need it. I feel like you need it. Um, so <laughs> that's what the universe is sending to you in May, okay? Now, if you're not having sex in May, I'd be very surprised because you've got a lot of action cards here. These are... Um, there's only like one, two cards where there's, there's not, well, maybe three cards where there's not a lot of sex action, okay, where they're not actually doing it. Um, but I still feel like there's, there's things going on despite the, you know, lack of maybe penetration, okay, happening in May. There's still a lot going on, Cancer. And, um, so the card in which... Uh, is in the heart of everything is this card. And this is, this card is having the desire for sex um, because of strong feelings for someone. This is mutual common interests, goals. This is a love of food. And cancers generally do have a love of food. Um, this potentially can also indicate not yet having sex due to it being the beginning of a relationship, needing patience and calm. Um, it says you will fuck hard eventually. Um, anticipation can be used as a turn on. It can be sweet if you have that as a mindset. This can indicate a curvy woman who loves her food and a sexy man um, looking for that kind of comfort and nurturing in a woman. Okay. And it says he loves you. He thinks you are sexy. Okay. 
So ladies, if you're a little bit curvy, don't worry, okay? This is, he likes you that way. He likes you especially because you're that way, okay? Um, and this is a guy who really just wants you to cook for him, you know, who really enjoys it when a woman cooks for him. Uh, so cancer guys, this could be you, you know, that's what you really like. I mean, it's so funny, it's like a classic saying, you know, guys just want you to show up naked with food, basically. And that's this card, you know. May is a time for you cancers to show up naked with food, and I think you'd be good, okay? Let me know if that happens, okay? Um, now, uh, you also got one of my other favorite cards. You got a lot of fun cards, like I said, in this deck. And one of my other favorite cards is this card, okay? Let's see, it's two guy, two a girl and a guy, two people riding on a horse here. They're about to have sex, or they are having sex on the horse. Um, basically, it's, this is meeting someone and having instant chemistry, okay? This is strong desire for each other um, and sex on both partners, okay? Or both parties, okay? This is mutual attraction. Um, this is a man... Um, who is not intimidated by a voluptuous woman um, to see the hot in each other, wanting to rip each other's clothes off um, and needing to do so becomes so strong it is almost unbearable. The urge to fuck is very strong. Okay, so it's sort of like guy meets girl, they make eye contact, and suddenly it's like they're naked. <laughs> to me twice. <laughs> Maybe more. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I always say that when I want to not go further into it. But I feel like there was been, there's been two guys in my history where I met them and it was just like we looked at each other and it was like instantly I feel like their thoughts turned to sex and my thoughts turned to sex and it was just like we could have had sex right there. And it was weird. I don't know if you've ever had that experience. Message me if you have, okay? So it, it was like that. And then, but instead, these this couple takes it full, like farther. Instead of just like looking at each other and like being like, wow, okay, there's something going on. <laughs> They're like, we're going to do it. <laughs> and then just do it. Like, it's kind of crazy. Uh, I've met people who have done that before. They meet someone and it's just like they have to have sex with that person. They just have to. They can't help it. They just do. Um, it's kind of wild. So so that's kind of what's going on beginning of May. Okay, strong chemistry. Um, I feel like the thing about size really doesn't matter to you guys, to cancers right now. Okay, um, the people that are watching this, curvy girls, curvy guys even, um, doesn't matter. Sizes does not matter. Um, appearance doesn't matter as much as, you know, being the whole package. I think the cancer is looking for a whole package. They're looking for uh, someone that's going to treat them really well and love them and, um, and cook for them, basically. Um, now, in the distant past, you got this interesting card. Um, this card is, you know, has to do with money. There's only one card in this whole thing that has to do with money, okay? Um, although there's some other references to money. This is, um, also the teasing card. This is the tease, okay? This is teasing, tantalizing, foreplay, okay? This is a woman who may have money or a man who may be wealthy, okay? Um, don't let money come between you, okay? There's the mutual respect in career, choices or in general. This respect makes the desire for each other more intense. This is to communicate easily about money and this can indicate gifts of money, okay, um, that are much appreciated by either party um, as gratitude will also increase over time. So maybe cancer someone may have given you some money. Either a girl gave you some money or a guy gave you some money. Um, there's been an exchange. Money's been exchanged or one of you may have money, the other may not, okay? Both of you may have money, okay? Um, there's usually just a strong respect there, okay? Communications about money are easy. So um, I feel like I'm getting money is no object for, for you um, in a partnership for May. 
and my computer's slowing down so I have to pause it for a minute.